Now when you're cycling an aquarium, you have to cure the rock. Now this rock here is recently cured, and when you cure the rock, it is quite common to go through various algae phases. First you get a light brown algae, which is a diatom algae, then you often get a green algae, which is a hair algae, and then if your water parameters aren't right, you can then start to develop blue-green algae, which is cyanobacteria, which is not a true algae. Once you're able to create the right water conditions, then your algae will subside and your aquarium will start to come together and look beautiful, and you'll have plenty of corals in there to be a photosynthetic alternative. Now, in order to make sure you don't get too much cyanobacteria, the first thing is to have very good surface agitation. Make sure that your surface is well broken so it's going to provide plenty of good oxygen. Um, make sure that you have very good water flow, about sort of up to 20 times an hour water flow with plenty of circulation in your tank. And I also find that using products like phosphate remover and nitrate remover are basically imperative for getting the phosphate and nitrate down low enough to combat this problem and having a very good protein skimmer is going to help because the protein skimmer is going to lower your nutrient content and you need to use it with the nitrate remover anyway. Now, um, assuming that your conditions are wrong, you may start to get cyanobacteria. Um, boosting your magnesium definitely helps. Um, also making sure you've got nice hard water with nice high KH, high calcium and high pH. All of these things make the water less conducent to the growth of blue-green algae. But if you do get it, one thing I find very good is hydrogen peroxide. Um, if you dose the tank with hydrogen peroxide and spray it on the blue-green algae, the hydrogen peroxide will kill the algae right in front of your face and that's a bit of fun and you've just got to make sure that you do not overdose it. Start with very low doses and work your way up. Other things I've um, used quite effectively is algae fix. Algae fix is also quite good for killing blue-green algae. Once again, in a perfect world, you work out how much you need and spray it on the algae itself. And there's another product called Anti-Red, which is very good. So the aim is to have a nice high calcium, carbonate, magnesium levels and low phosphate and nitrate with very good water flow and good surface agitation. And this is rarely ever a problem. So if you fix your cores, that usually fix the, fixes the um, problem. But if you do get the problem, there are various um, things such as algae fix, such as peroxide, such as anti-red that you can use to eliminate it once you get it and once again spraying the product onto the algae is the most effective way and obviously you can just pull the rock out and scrub it off the rock too so anyway if you've got any other tips and hints and tricks for getting rid of blue green algae then put a little comment on the bottom of the this video and make sure you don't run your lights too much